Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the U.S. markets for Monday's trading session, the uh, 6th of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, U.S. markets, we certainly going into a uh, we certainly are going into a Monday session with uh, a number of headwinds. Okay, first uh, and foremost, really, is uh, the Chinese growth story. China certainly downgrading its growth, certainly uh, negative uh, over the weekend. Also, we have the situation in North Korea, test firing missiles, again negative. We have uh, political chaos on three fronts. One, we have Mr. Sessions recusing himself. Number two, we have Mike Pence with his email uh, debacle, given the fact that they've been criticising Hillary Clinton, and now they, they themselves are certainly guilty of it, especially using his AOL account for, obviously, uh, business uh, uh, dealings. Uh, and again, that's obviously open to being hacked. Now, the other aspect as well is, uh, well, actually there's four. Uh, number three, Mr. Obama being accused of uh, a wiretapping Mr. Trump. Okay, so again, that's another uh, political infighting, okay, and a story that certainly has broken over the weekend. And uh, certain uh, individuals obviously in war involved, and again, it basically creates that uncertainty and confirms uh, what everybody's been expecting of Mr. Trump all along, that he's incompetent, um, he's an imbecile, and really he is a, a liability okay and again that certainly is net, net negative for stock markets now the other the fourth story uh, if i can uh, just recollect as well is uh, mr trump's travel ban apparently he's going to enforce his travel ban again okay but minus iraq and, and green card holders so i'm not sure how that's going to be uh, embraced by the markets and uh, how it's going to be interpreted as well so certainly a lot of political um, uncertainty from my understanding and my interpretation Okay, so um, let's see exactly how the market re reacts. I mean, again, we can have one theory, but the market certainly would totally negate that altogether. And we can go to new highs as we've been seeing recently as well. Okay, uh, now uh, the other factor as well in terms of uh, the US bird flu uh, crisis, certainly over the weekend, Tennessee. So we'll see whether or not the, uh, the travel sector gets hit there. Okay, and also the agriculture sector as well. So commodities in general, so watch out. Obviously, Miss Yellen was certainly hawkish, given the fact that we have 96% chance now of uh, the Fed fund futures uh, pricing in a potential hike next week. Uh, again, that certainly is net and negative. Uh, Deutsche Bank concerns, as we all know already. Deutsche Bank certainly raising capital again. We'll see how that impacts the uh, the financials today in the US. Uh, certainly expecting uh, a negative uh, uh, reaction there. Nikkei obviously down overnight as well. Okay, so again, net, net negative from my understanding. Certainly will be exerting pressure on US equities. Now, let's see exactly where US equities fare. Let's start off with the Dow Jones. Okay, so looking at the Dow Jones, from my understanding, my interpretation, uh, the uh, technical picture there certainly remains weak. Given the uh, bearish headwinds from a fundamental perspective, it's certainly screaming gap fill. Okay, so daily chart certainly exhausted. Uh, certainly not a bearish engulfing candle, but we certainly know it took out the uh, the green uh, the green candle on uh, from uh, two days ago, so or, th or four days ago, should I say? So certainly keep an eye on that 60 minute chart on the German on the Dow, uh, no higher highs. Okay, looking for a lower high here, and then obviously looking to close the gap below. So watch out below on the uh, the actual Dow itself. Moving over to the Dow Transportation Index, let's just quickly bring up the Dow Transports here, folks. Okay, Dow Transports has remained weak ever since the, the breakout itself was a fake out. Ever since we've had a bearish engulfing candle, we've been consolidating within that bearish engulfing candle and therefore looking for a move lower. Now, you have a rising contracting wedge type pattern here as well. Certainly one would interpret from a technical perspective of exhaustion, especially given the fact that you are seeing rate rises as well. Certainly, uh, obviously, costs of investment, costs of capital certainly going increasing. Therefore, obviously, risk net net negative from my understanding and my interpretation. Now, a 60 minute chart on the Dow, certainly how Dow Transports has a H&S formation. OK, so from my understanding, you are looking at the head being the fake out and then obviously looking for the right shoulder and looking for a flush lower. So Dow Transportation certainly indicating weaker. That's my uh, interpretation thus far. OK. And now let's move on to the S&P 500. S&P 500 bearish and golfing. Uh, obviously, we've been consolidating on the daily chart. 60-minute uh, chart, certainly arguing for gap fill below. So watch out for that gap, folks. Okay, so you are looking at a lower high, not a, uh, and therefore expecting a lower low. So lower highs, lower lows certainly remain the theme on the S&P 500, and you are targeting that gap below at 23.63. If we were ever, if we were ever going to close that gap, certainly is today. Okay, uh, certainly is today, given the bearish arguments. Now let's look at the Russell just to confirm the actual um, 
uh, movement in the S&P as always. Uh, daily chart at the moment, certainly bearish engulfing uh, and obviously consolidation. So indicating weakness for my understanding and my interpretation. Uh, a 60 minute chart. Let's just bring this up again. OK, same sort of scenario here. Left shoulder. OK, you're looking at the head, which obviously was a fake out. And then obviously right shoulder and then looking to flush and looking to close the gap below. So from my understanding, certainly remains bearish as well. OK, let's move on to the Nasdaq now. OK, Nasdaq 100, you have an unfilled gap above at uh, 5390. You have an unfilled gap below at 5330. So given the uh, bearish arguments, you are looking at the gap below to certainly close first and foremost. That's what I would be targeting. In terms of the uh, daily chart on the Nasdaq, you are seeing some exhaustion here. No higher highs as of yet. OK, so again, looking for weakness. 10 minute chart as well, looking for that gap below. 60 minute chart at the moment thus far, you are looking at a lower high. OK, lower high down to gap fill. So 5330 really is a pivot. That's the target for the Nasdaq. Now let's cross reference that with the biotechs and the semicons. Let's see exactly where we stand. Daily chart, the semicons ever since we, uh, or should we say the biotechs, ever since we got a topping tail, we're certainly topping out here. Double top certainly holding and therefore looking to uh, potentially reverse to the downside. Now let's just confirm that with the um, semiconductors. Bear with me. There we go. Okay, semiconductors. Looking at the daily chart at the moment. So again, looking at a double top. Uh, no real higher high. Bearish engulfing candle, indicating risk aversion. Certainly a base has been built. It's not a base, so say certainly a wall of resistance has been built there. And you are now looking for a lower low or a lower high. Well, basically you have a lower high. And looking for a lower low. So again, indicating weakness. So indicating weakness on the Nasdaq, looking for a flush lower. Let's just quickly bring up the uh, the actual VIX as well. Uh, the VIX is important because it moves inverse to the uh, the actual S&P. VIX itself certainly looking to break out this bearish channel. Okay, so watch out above. 60 minute chart certainly built a base. No lower lows, no double bottom. Looking for a higher, well, higher low certainly has been built here. And now we're looking for a higher high, folks. Okay, so watch out for that higher high looking to uh, actually thrust higher here so very 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 important to understand and and, uh, and re respect that as well to a large extent okay so looking for a higher high on the uh, vix therefore indicating us markets to potentially move lower okay so therefore indicating weakness okay that really is a summation in terms of the uh, the actual uh, us markets thus far now we can certainly look at the uh, the actual uh, Emerging markets here as well. Whilst we're here, we have the index here, the daily chart, the emerging markets, no higher high, so therefore indicating weakness. And again, starting starting the series of lower lows and lower highs. So again, indicating weakness. So my understanding, my interpretation, really <clears throat> summation here, really is the S and P is going for that gap fill below at twenty three sixty, and the uh, the Nasdaq certainly is going for that gap fill below as well at uh, the five three thirty zone. So it's all about those gaps below. Watch out below. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs.